This tutorial explains how to convert categorical variables into numeric using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you two examples and the first example is based on the vector object that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called x. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 4 of the code. So after running this line of code you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector object containing 6 elements. And you can see that this object is a factor vector which contains three factor levels. Now let's assume that we want to convert these categories in the factor to a numeric vector. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 6. So in this line of code I'm using the unclass function and I'm applying this function to our vector object x. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called x new. So if you run line 6 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called x new. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see that we have converted the categories in our input vector x to integer or to numeric values. So the first category, cat A, has been converted to the value 1. The second category, cat B, has been converted to the value 2. And the third category has been converted to the value 3. So in this first example, I have explained how to convert a vector containing categories into a numeric vector. However, it's also possible to convert all variables in a data frame to numeric variables. And this is what I want to show you in the next example starting in line 9 of the code. So if you run lines 9 to 12 of the code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame on the top right, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure and the values of our data frame. So as you can see, our data contains six rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2 and x3. And all of these columns contain categories. Now let's assume that we want to convert each of these columns to a new column containing numeric values instead of categories. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 14. So in this line of code I'm again using the unglass function. However, this time I'm using this function in combination with the sapply function. And within the sapply function I also need to specify the name of our data set. So in this case our data set is called data. And then I'm storing the output of the sapply function in a new data frame object which is called data new. So if you run line 14 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing at the top right which is called data new. And if you click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our new data set. And as you can see, again, our data set contains six rows and three columns. However, this time the values in these columns have been converted to numeric based on the categories in our input data. Please note that this output data object is a matrix instead of a data frame. So in case you want to convert your data frame to a data frame output, then you would also have to apply the sDataFrame function to this new data object. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.